Hi, uh, my name is Sofia Rios and I do work for Ella para Trans Latinas. I started working uh, uh, months ago, but also um, start as a, a, part, a participant and then as a volunteer in the in the in the in the, uh, in the program. And um, actually, I like it. My name is Calixto Robles, and I'm an artist and a teacher in the community of the mission. I'm originally from uh, Oaxaca, Mexico, and I came here in 1983, and I've been, uh, I've been doing art since, since I, I came here. Paul Bowden, Western Regional Advocacy Project, second floor Redstone Building. We are a coalition of homeless rights organizations throughout the West Coast in Colorado, Oregon, and California. And this is the office that does the artwork with the poster syndicate, which is also part of this building, um, as well as the research and the writing, the drafting the Right to Rest Act to decriminalize being homeless. I uh, come out of the San Francisco Coalition, which also had an office here, so have been in this building uh, for over 25 years. Hi, my name is Linda Vino, and I'm the director of Wonder Dog Rescue, a nonprofit organization. I've been doing dog rescue for over 28 years. Ella, well, it's uh, the name is uh, Ella means. Ella para Trans Latinas, which is, we help all the Trans Latinas as me um, uh, to to be more comfortable here and uh, uh, part, uh, part of it in the United States also to help them with some uh, some of the um, migration uh, do um, migration things I can say that way and what we help to them um, with it's providing uh, hormones or, or try to go the way to find a hormones uh, also find a doctor or to find a therapist because a lot of, of us as immigrant immigrants we have too much uh, I can say traumas in our countries. So when we came here to the United States, we find like a, a land of freedom where can we be ourselves and we um, be uh, not to be trans girls, to be what we always want to be, uh, girls. And that's what um, Ella does here to help all those trans, mostly Latinas who are uh, coming here to the United States and looking for that dream of everybody is looking for. I do it because um, it makes me it makes me feel good and also um, uh, I do it because I like to share my uh, my my colors my uh, my energy my light with with the, with the people. Uh, with my art, I I hope to inspire uh, uh, another people and also to bring a little bit of, um, of healing and, and peace and harmony and and good thoughts um, uh, to the people who who see my art and and uh, to make them feel good, you know, because I think we, we are living in a time that is a lot of uh, uh, violence and, and, and a lot of bad energy from, from especially here in the U.S., you know, from the, gover the actual government right now is, is, is dividing people, uh, uh, separating families. So with my art, I, I, I hope to bring a little bit of um, unity. Our mission is to take in animals that are at severe risk of being euthanized because of health or behavior problems. We bring them in, we don't keep anyone here, but we find foster homes for them and then we get them on our webpage, do adoption events and get them adopted to the public. That means a lot because this is 
oh how our community take it or even us we take it as a we take it as a house i can say that way it's a home it's a place where we always come in and where where we know we can find our sisters and uh all the help we need this is like a home this is not just a building it's a house and it's it's a pregnant all all those uh dreams and all whatever we um we are looking for it's uh also help with us it's a uh, it's a home it's 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 everything for us and really we can we are kind of sad knowing that it's probably se uh getting sale the uh this um this building and we like we don't want to brought all those uh dreams the we have and also our participants have and we don't want to be out of this building actually th this building means a lot to us so how i told you it's like a home like a house for us it just means it's a place that you know having been here this long seeing the mission neighborhood resource center created here knowing that blo actually had their first practices here working with the artists and the groups that are here the poor magazine people that were upstairs iuda the living wage coalition and having that sense of artwork you see the hallways that uh, all have artwork in it it's all about a it's a human rights you know symposium of organizations and artists that are striving to bring pride to our community and it's within a community that we're rapidly losing and watching what's happened throughout this city. I come out of the Tenderloin, I've been at 16th and Mission. Between those two places, I, that's 36 years of uh, watching Valencia Street become yuppie central, of uh, watching downtown become absolutely brutal to not just homeless people, poor people, anyone that ain't shopping, vendors, buskers, artists that are out on the street trying to sell their wares to survive. Um, this is a neoliberal community, and we need to fight that shit, and this is the place where we do it. Well, well you know, I'll tell you, what the building means to me is this. I remember having a bank account up on the third floor. I remember working for a uh, circuit network down the hallway, gosh, probably like over 15 or 18 years ago. You know, the building has been here for so many organizations for a very long time. The building has also had affordable rents. A lot of the groups and individuals that are here could not be here because, wouldn't be in the city because of the, the current situation. We need, for the, for the activists, for the artists, really for all people, we need affordable spaces. And that's what this has been. It's also a community space. So it's close to my heart for those reasons. Yes, uh, I think uh, this building is uh, is a landmark, and uh, I just been here a few few weeks in this place. But uh, I already feel that it's a place of, of creativity and uh, uh, resistance, and and uh, a place where people. Uh, are um, uh, helping other people, you know. I, I see in different, different people, different uh, uh, um, um, women, men, LGBT, you know. So it's a, it's a, it's a nice, nice, nice place, and I hope to, um, I hope to people realize to and fight for this, to, to for this place to keep it open for the community.